Today we're going to walk through Microsoft Stream, specifically how to do a screen recording. So if you ever have seen our previous tech tips on YouTube, but this is how we record these. There is one of two ways you can access Stream, one being visiting stream.office.com, and the other being once you're in your Microsoft environment, you can just find the Stream icon and get to the screen from there. So you can see you have a couple options right off the bat. One, you can upload a previously recorded video and start editing from there. Two, screen record, which is what we'll do today. And then three, record yourself through your webcam or computer camera the old fashioned way. You also have the option to create playlists for organization purposes, so keep that in mind. Otherwise, let's go into the screen recording button. It's gonna bring you to this page. Uh, from here, you have a couple options. First thing I always do is make sure that my camera and microphone settings are how I want them. So one, if you go to this three dots, you can choose what camera output you want. So if I turn on my webcam, I will pop up in the bottom left hand corner here. From here, I can make myself bigger, smaller. I can move myself wherever I want to on the screen. And then of course, I can get rid of it as well. If I go back in, you can see you have the same microphone options too. So quick, easy on and off, quick, easy on and off as well. Um, so just below the recording button, you have a couple options too. Um, screen means you're going to be recording your screen. Video means it'll switch to bringing you up on here. And then audio, meaning it'll just be recording the audio. So. If I go back to video, this isn't what we're focusing on, but just so you know, you can click this backdrop and you can add a picture and this kind of gives that green screen effect, which is kind of cool. But like I said, we're gonna be focused on the screen recording. So if I click into here, it's going to bring up a pop-up. From here, I can choose to share a specific tab, a specific window, or an entire screen. It is important to note too, that if you will be sharing a video or anything with audio, make sure that this is toggled on. Otherwise that system audio will not come through. So for the sake of this video, I will share out this screen. It'll count down and then it'll start recording. You can see it's recording because this will turn red. From here, you can see a couple more options pop up on the right hand side. You can add text to the screen. You can draw on it. Um, this is great for if you're doing any explanation videos and you need to circle anything. You can change the color, change the thickness, whatever you may need. You can add stickers. You can put a filter on it. You can add a frame, um, a whiteboard. This is an amazing feature. So if you click on a board, for example, whiteboard, you can make it a little part of the screen or the whole part of the screen. And this helps a lot with showing visuals and showing your drawings. Um, and then notice in the top left-hand corner, you can clear the screen or undo anything. And then there is a teleprompter app. So this is great because you can copy and paste a script into here and have it scroll through as you're recording. So notice that it's not letting me do that right now. And that's because I already am recording. So if I click this button again, it'll pause it. I can pull up the teleprompter and now I can paste in a script. So from here, you can make font size bigger, font size smaller, and change the scroll speed. So if I want it to be right in the middle, let's say, and if I click record again, I do want to note that that paused the recording. It's not going to start all the way over. It's not going to delete what you previously had. This was just a pause effect. So if I click it again, and then I click that teleprompter button, it'll pull up what I had and it'll start scrolling. So if you finish and you have everything you need to, you simply go to this review button. Now this is where you can start trimming audio or trimming your video if you need to um, and adding additional clips if you choose whatever it may be. Then you click finish when you're all done. It'll bring you to the stream homepage and it'll give you some additional options. So I'll let that load for a second. 
And then here's that video. So you can see that you have some options here on the right in terms of analytics. You can start sharing it to your coworkers, whatever it may be. Um, and I'll do another video kind of walking through all the options within stream after a video is recorded. But otherwise, screen recording is super easy and it's a super useful tool. So let me know if you end up trying it.